allow me to explain. <laughs> For those of you guys who don't follow me on Instagram, I did announce this on Instagram already, but I had to come on here on YouTube and let my YouTube family who's been with me for so long through so many periods and transitions in my life. I had to just let you guys know what has been going on, why I've been MIA. So yes, I have been keeping a huge secret from you guys, not intentionally, I'm going to explain, but I am pregnant <laughs> and it's pretty crazy to be saying that on camera because I feel like I've just been in this kind of hermit mode since I found out and it's just haven't really been blurting it out obviously it took me months to go on Instagram and finally let people know even though people in my personal life my close friends and family already knew these things but I just I, could, I don't know it's, it's just Spiritually for me, this has been a time where I have really gone within, been present in the moment with my loved ones, with you know this baby I have inside of me. And it's been very beautiful. It's been all these different feelings. For those of you who have had children or are currently pregnant, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I know this is a shocker because a lot of you guys are like, I didn't even know you were in a, in a relationship. And yes, I did say years ago, that I was not going to talk about my personal life or my relationships. Like I would keep my relationship status a secret, you know, I'd keep it to myself. So that's why you guys haven't known that I was in a relationship, got engaged and all this and all this stuff has happened. And I like to keep that part of my life kind of away from social media. He doesn't have social media. He's not into it. He loves and supports what I do but he's just not a social media person. He's very private, very low key, and that's why I like him, but also I like to respect his privacy. So maybe one day I'll share that story and you know all this stuff that has happened because it is quite a story and how we met and it's crazy. When I first started to get to know him, I just had this feeling like he would be a really good father, that I would want to have children with him, and I never had that feeling with anybody else and maybe one day i can convince him to come on camera and do a video with me talking about it but as of now i don't think so i can't promise that long story short a lot of stuff's happened in my life behind the scenes i don't show all aspects of my life some of you guys who follow me on instagram have seen some of those aspects but even there i'm just i'm very private and i know it's weird because of the nature of the work i do but i I believe that we can have a healthy separation between social media and real life and we should honor and respect that. It looks different for everyone. So I'm the type of person who usually goes through things first and then I come on and share what I've learned. So I'm definitely going to be sharing more of my journey. There's been a huge inner transformation for me, not only just in my body, but also just inside and inward. It's been incredible. But also social media for me, I've noticed, I think as a whole lot of us have noticed this, that it's been it's become kind of a darker place as of late, more just division and polarity and all these different things. Before it was more like a fun, lighthearted place where you went to escape things of the world, but now it's kind of like, I go on social media or Instagram and it's like, I'm already off put, you know, there's just so many energies. And part of being pregnant, I have noticed is that my intuition, has just heightened my you know i'm already an empath i'm even more empathic i feel energy very deeply i feel things very deeply i feel people very deep deeply and you know it's not such a great time on earth right now and being pregnant during this time has really really been a challenge for me when we found out back in april it was a surprise for us and so i wanted time to be able to reflect and feel those feelings first for us too as a couple before we announced it. So I didn't announce my pregnancy to basically every, anyone, even my friends and family they didn't know until I was right, maybe around 13, 14, 15 weeks because for those of you guys who know, usually the first trimester, and this trigger warning, but usually your first trimester will have you will have a higher rate of miscarriage so even when you find out i went to my eight week appointment everything was good i was advised by my doctor you know 
15 week mark, but we found out pretty early because I track my cycles every month and I know each day that my period should come. My cycle is very regular. So I knew right off the bat, maybe I was about four weeks when I found out. So yes, and then maybe a week later, this is when kind of stuff got really hard for me physically. The morning sickness, and this, this is not just morning sickness. I think morning sickness is a very, very bad term. It's just, for me, it was sickness from the moment I woke up to the time I went to bed with very little relief in the middle. I could not find relief. It was really hard. I vomited maybe once throughout those 15 weeks, 20 weeks but that whole first trimester was just nausea. My sense of smell was just over the top, was just crazy. I could smell anything, anything that smelled chemically, whether it was an air freshener plugged in in the other room or a candle or anything, it just set me off nausea. So during this time, my mental health was severely affected. I was basically, useless <laughs> because like i'm a person i like to get up do things you know whatever around the house i could not get out of bed it was that bad and i it was also very mental because i was worried for the baby i said you know i'm not even even able to take my prenatals that's how bad this is and i was just so worried for the baby that i wasn't giving the baby proper nutrition and all these things so i was really the only thing i could eat like the first few weeks at the beginning I couldn't even have a ginger candy or like um, crackers or water even water made me feel sick so it was like I could not put anything in my stomach that would satiate me the things that I could put in my stomach crackers though those have no nutritional value so your stomach is just empty and the empty stomach makes you even sicker so it's like this horrible cycle I mean Honestly, I kind of blocked a lot of that time period out of my life because it was so bad. But what did help me was going out in nature, being outside at the time we were living in Puerto Rico. We had gotten a house there, so we were, you know, out in nature, out in the boat, out on the beach, going for walks together, going out in nature because that really helped me the most. So just being in nature, disconnected, just trying to be as stress-free as possible because it was a very stressful time for me physically and I was not myself. I was not myself for 15, so maybe about three months. I was not myself, but he really helped me through it and he's really been so supportive of me since the very beginning. Like if, if it wasn't for him being the way he is and he's just such a positive, loving person, I would have been, I don't know. With pregnancy, it is a beautiful time, but also you go through a lot of changes. So like your body changes. And I started to gain weight, like after my first trimester was over, thank goodness around the 15, 16 week mark, as my doctor had said exactly, the morning sickness lifted. So that was a huge relief because I was afraid it was going to last my entire pregnancy. But no, it lifted and thankfully I got through that. So, you know, we're in Puerto Rico, we're enjoying life. The second trimester comes and it's just like, things just feel so much better. You have more energy, you're no longer just the log. I, I really want to give my heart out to women who go through morning sickness their entire pregnancy or who struggle their first trimester and have to go to work, have to do these things. I luckily, you know, I work from home and I was so lucky to be able to stay home and be able just to be there. Also on top of that is that when you're trying to keep your pregnancy private, people notice that you're sick, you're sleeping more, you're, you know, you're gaining a little weight and it's like, I just didn't want to be on camera during this time. <laughs> you know, I did not want to record during this time because I knew whenever I gain weight, my cheeks, you know, show it. I already have very full cheeks, but now they're just like, you know, so my cheeks show it first and I did not want to uh, be on camera not wanting to talk about my pregnancy yet and then people speculating, oh my God, are you pregnant, are you pregnant? Did not want that either. That's why I was away for so long. I could not get myself to start recording and it was, it's just one of those things, right? I think a lot of women who are, who have been pregnant before can also know what this feels like when you just want to keep things to yourself and you don't want the questions like, what do you do, blah, blah, blah. Cause you know, there's just so many things and that go along with pregnancy. Also, people can be very negative 
um, you know, when it comes to pregnancy for some reason. In my second trimester, we decided to move back to Texas where I'm from, where my family lives and have the rest of my care here in Texas. Puerto Rico is a beautiful place. It's gorgeous, I love it. I will always see that place as like a second home. So yes, back in Texas, and we're gonna be moving to a new place come November. So there's a lot, there's just been a lot going on, and I just, this is just a rough update for you guys. But moving forward, I do want to share more of my journey, especially since I announced this on Instagram. My life is changing. It's no longer just me. I started a family, which a family for me has been something I've always wanted. I've always wanted a family to have children and be a mother. And, you know, it came at a time where I wasn't expecting it, to be honest. But I think it came at the right time because I'm in, I'm 27. And when you're 27, it's kind of like a, a, a time of deep transition. Like we go through a transition or like a revolution in our life, like when you're 21. Another one happens when you're 27. So this is like the next step and the next phase in my life. And so with that is going to come a change in just the content I put out even more so because I want to be sharing these aspects of motherhood, of starting a family, of, you know, pregnancy also. I haven't shared much and I'm already, I'm starting my third trimester, but I realize that not everyone is going to resonate with those things. And so I don't want anybody to be offended or upset or anything. I always want my content to be helpful. And the best way I can be helpful is by sharing what I've learned and relating it always back to my journey. So these past two or three years for me have been heavily in the divine feminine. And as I have connected back to my divine feminine and my femininity, I feel like, you know, pregnancy was kind of like a culmination of that, not only physically, but also spiritually to bring a new life into the world and to carry a life inside of you. It's very, very spiritual. It's like we're in the feminine, I'm creating a new life. I feel like all that inner work that I did helped me find, you know, not only a, a partner who is, in his masculine who's very protective who's so loving and matches me in so many ways the whole healing in the divine feminine has also helped me just birth new things in my life and a new stage something that you know if you would have asked me a year ago oh my god you think you're gonna have a baby next year and be like no no way because it wasn't even in in my trajectory i knew that one day oh i would love to be a mom but i've always felt like i wasn't ready but now it just feels so natural to me to be a mother like it's what i was meant to do and at the beginning when i first found out i was i had all these questions am i even ready to be a mother will i be a good mother and so this time that i've taken to myself to work through healing work through any limiting beliefs that might have come up and just face myself in a different way my growth has just been immense so with that a lot of my content from here on out will probably be more about these topics. Of course, the same topics as I love, you know, what I'm passionate about, divine feminine, about healing, about bringing, creating in your life and breeding positivity, spirituality, all these things I want to continue moving forward. But on Instagram, I asked you guys, what do you want to see? You guys said, I want to see whatever. I just want to see you back, which thank you guys so much for the support. I was really scared to just announce that I was pregnant. I was like, oh my God, people are going to be upset at me. I did get some people writing not so nice things, but it's okay. It comes with the territory. But at the end of the day, I want to share what I've learned and always just to help people in any way that I can. And I find that turning on the camera, talking with you guys and just being here and speaking about these things, I feel very aligned. So I don't know. I mean, I want to hear from you guys on YouTube. What do you guys want to see? Do you guys want to see pregnancy content? I mean, I really only have a few months left of my pregnancy, but you know, I would love to share like, the spiritual aspects of that. Even in maternity essentials that I find have helped me. Books, I've read so many books during this time. 
I've you know watched courses and things birthing courses and I also am going to have a natural birth with a midwife in a birth center preferably a water birth probably will be a water birth but you never know the day of and I've definitely approached my pregnancy in a more holistic way if you guys are interested in sharing that if you guys are going to be mothers or want to be mothers or you know maybe you've already been through that journey or if you're just curious i know i would have been curious at like 16. whatever whoever watches me i don't care i want to hear what you have to say as always it's important for me to protect the privacy of my loved ones of my family so i probably won't be doing vlogs if anything i might do a birth vlog or things like that i just want to come back in a purposeful way here and i feel like i have so much to talk about relating to my own journey this past year and I just love to share that. Whether it's on my podcast where I do open up a bit more on my podcast, you know, about relationships and you know current events and things like that, if you will, then more so on here. But yeah, I just want YouTube to be a fun, fun place where we can connect and talk about these different topics. And as always, it's going to be about spirituality. I'm a spiritual person. If you're watching this, you're a spiritual person. We're all spiritual beings. And that's what I want to get back to. There's so much noise and just static out in the world and we need a place to come back and just connect. And, you know, especially for me, I need a place to come back and connect and just be myself and not apologize for anything or, you know, none of that. I'm not here to apologize. I think we should all go back to being unapologetically ourselves. And that's something that I, want to cultivate something that i've always wanted to get back to and what i want to pass down to my child and any children i decide to have after <laughs> i do know the gender by the way we know the gender but i don't know if i'm going to announce it yet we'll see i kind of wanted to keep it a secret until baby is born but maybe i'll reveal it soon who knows i don't know i'm kind of just I'm really enjoying the moment and I feel it really good. My pregnancy has been great so far, um, other than the first trimester, but everything looks good. Baby looks great, very healthy. I had my most recent labs done and you know, passed a glucose test. All my, sh like my blood sugar was great, my iron was great, everything was great. I honestly think it's my prenatals have been helping me a lot. I've been eating well gain some weight as you guys can tell but i'm not worried about the weight i know that it comes off and then with time you always want to be healthy with that my number one concern is that i birth this child and baby will be healthy and happy so i try to keep myself as high spirited as possible i try to cut off from negativity whether it's in my real life or online i just don't give it my energy because this baby is literally feeling everything and it's such a happy baby already so i want to keep it that way so let's keep this positive and loving in the comments please um because i want to read through them and i want to respond to as many people as i can so thank you guys so much to those of you who have been supportive and loving to any moms to be out there don't compare your journey to anyone else's don't compare your body to anyone else's just worry about you and baby that's all that matters and um Whatever you're going through, you will get through it. I know it's tough, <laughs> but it's a beautiful time as well. So enjoy it and be present. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so very much. And always remember this, my angels, no matter who you may be in this life, no matter what you may be going through, no matter what your stage is in life right now, whether you have children or you don't, honor this time in your life, honor every stage of your life. You're not behind in life. You don't need to compare yourself to me, to anyone nothing of that okay please focus on yourself and focus on your own individual journey because eventually all the hard work the sleepless nights the difficulties the struggles all of it pays off and it makes sense even when it doesn't in the moment so just want to send some hope and love out there and i will see you in my next video always remember and don't forget ever your true beauty your true worth and your true power always come from within. I love you guys and I will see you very soon. Bye!